Okay, this is a video on authentic assessment. This one is on MISQ analysis, which is a method for analyzing how students are approaching the reading process. It's a form of direct assessment because you are directly assessing the reading process. It's done one-on-one. -on -one. It's built on the idea that errors or miscues, as we call them, can inform us. They tell us how the reader is processing the print. These types of miscues inform our teaching or can inform our teaching. Now, this is the process. This is designed to give you a sense, an overview, so you have an idea of it. You can find lots of YouTube videos on this as well. But the student reads a piece of graded reading orally, out loud to a teacher, so this is done one-on-one. -on -one. I recommend that you audio tape these so that you can play them back and analyze them. Once you get really good, you might be able to analyze in time as the student is reading. Like running records, the teacher has a copy of the graded reader and records the types of errors and miscues, and I'll show you a cue for that in just a minute. Now, there are two levels of miscues. There's a major miscue that changes the meaning significantly, or a minor miscue, errors or miscues that do not change the meaning of a sentence. For example, the dog ran down the road. If the student would say the dog trotted down the road, that would not change meaning, so that would be a minor miscue. And that's actually a good thing, because that tells us that the reader is not simply decoding and letter-by-letter uh, letter processing, but rather that the reader is using context and semantics to figure out what makes sense. The dog ran down the road. If the reader said, the dog floated down the road, or the dog... Uh, slept down the road, that would change the meaning significantly. Now, this is to be adopted and adapted like all things in education. Very few things should be prescribed. Do it this way exactly for all times and in all places and with all students because there's no such thing as a standardized student process, classroom, etc., etc., etc. Instead, you should adopt and adapt. Now, here is a type of scoring system that you might use. Again, student has a copy. You have the same copy as the student who's reading. You circle words that are skipped or omitted. Use a caret to insert if a student inserts an extra word. Downward slant through the word if they substituted a word or mispronounced the word. Write the word the, ch the child said on top. All right. If the teacher needed to aid the student, put an X on it. This little stair thing, if words were re reversed, repetition, and self-correct. The student self-corrects on miscues, put SC. By the way, this is a good thing if a student is self-correcting. So I personally do not deduct for self-corrects. And scoring, it is so important that you have numbers for everything a student does. I'm being sarcastic here, but if you want to have some gosh darn numbers, and some people do not think anything exists educationally unless a number is assigned to it, one point for miscue changes meaning, major miscue, half a point if miscue does not change the meaning, minor miscue, no deductions for self-correction. There you get another example of how you score that thing. Type of miscues. Word substitutions, non-word, insertions, etc., omissions, reversals. That's more a written form of what I just showed you. You can stop and study this at your leisure. And a scoring analysis. Same thing as running records. You get yourself a sort of um, uh, percentage. 100 words, 9 miscue total points, 92 out of 100. 92 percentage. And here is again, you can just kind of put tally marks for the number of types. Just gives you a sense of how this is done, although I doubt I've given you a very good explanation, but this hopefully will give you an overview. Running record and miscue analysis, they don't 
do anything for comprehension. They are just giving you a sense of the levels and types of miscues, and they give you a sense of the reading level. Running record is best for quickly finding the approximate reading level. Miscue, you're looking at the types of errors. They do not assess comprehension. And again, here are the three levels of reading. All right, that is just a quick overview on miscue analysis. Hopefully you rely on some other Google types of things and some other information, and you can use this to put that information in a meaningful context.